Easy first down, picked up. The run game to start for the Buckeyes, Mike Weber. Out to the 35-yard line. Mike Weber for two yards on first down. Barrett on a keeper. Into the secondary. A gain of 13. Little zone read again, and this time bouncing it outside, but nothing there for Mike Weber on first down. Maybe a yard. Play action. The slant caught. Fighting his way as Noah Brown for a first down. And now a JT Barrett is Curtis Samuel. They clock down to one. They run a little option, and this one sniffed out nicely as Nate Huff. Zone read to Weber. And that gives some breathing room out to the seven as Jonathan Crawford came up. Read option again. JT Barrett bounces it outside. First down. Gain of 17 that equals JT Barrett's longest run of the season. Now it's Mike Weber. A gain of six. Barrett trying to turn the corner this time. He is brought down at the 30 after a gain of... Get him into action. He motions into the slot on second down. JT Barrett under pressure and goes down. Nate Hoff got him for a sack. That's a loss of a... Play action. JT Barrett swings it right. And again, the Hoosiers not fooled. There was a lot of... Mike Weber turns the corner. Touchdown! Barrett looking for room on second down and ten. Gets only to the five-yard line, so now it's third. Zone read again. Again, it's Samuel. Lost the football! And it took a charity high. Zone read again. Again, the give to Samuel. And he gets to the second level. Down the sideline, inside the 35. And out. Barrett runs the option, and he's got room. J.T. Barrett down the sideline, inside the five. Stepped out. But I think he still does best. Out of the pistol, straight ahead, Samuel. A little jump cut to the goal line. He's in for the touchdown. He's putting those corners in space to tackle. And Ohio State spreading the field. And once again, the Indiana defense didn't fall for the eye candy they bring him down at the five Tony Fields knife take advantage take advantage of the competitive spirit at times of those defenders and do so by layering particular plays opposing team against Ohio State this year has been a blowout but they, they had plenty of crucial moments in that opening game against Oklahoma and answered in passing in the first half you're gonna see continue to see QB run 72 yards rushing now for JT Barrett Second down and nine. Get the ball to the outside. That was Urban's charge to coming in, and this is where Indiana has kept this game a one-possession game. Interesting formation for the Buckeyes here. A couple of stacked receivers and an empty backfield. Mike Weber at the top of the screen, wide as... He said to, to young Curtis, he said, listen, Percy Harvin's who your skill set is. But in Gainesville, when Percy got the ball, the whole stadium held their breath. That's the place he'd like Samuel to get to in this horseshoe. Is his ability to run? He's a magician off the play action off of it. And if the defense can't stop it like this, check the number of hits JT takes. Very close to a Buckeye first down. It looks like he's a yard shy, so it brings up a huge third down and one inside the 10-yard line. You notice you're running right but right times. Do you see inexperienced guys panic in that moment of truth? He knows right where he's at, right where the marker is. And there's been a commitment to the running. That time it is quarterback power. You are emptying your playbook as you should in a seven-point game. You pass the halfway point more times than not.
Joseph Gideon, straight ahead kick this time, wobbly spiral. Returnable for Dontre Wilson. That what you'd really love to do is put air on it and give him the opportunity to go get it instead of trying to be that precise. Only his 11th passing attempt of the uncommon numbers. Richard Jr. JT Barrett hit as he lets go of the football. T. Gray Scales delayed his blitz just enough to quarterback comfortable. And unlike Ohio State that plays so much press, look at the soft cover. And that's a danger. Pass, pass, pass. And execute and finish. Puts the Buckeyes yet again in another third down situation. Isaiah Prince, the starting right tackle, had to come off the field. Huge play. Wow, we will keep our eyes on that one, Adnan. Good game in the Pac-12 as well. Bob Shoes and Brock Ewart, Allison Williams. 13 and a half minutes. To Very difficult time doing it. And did the Buckeyes start to work on the clock? 20 seconds on the play clock, and they are lined up. Now the look over. It's 176 yards a game, sitting at just 280 now with a dozen minutes to play. And has played very solid team defense. Third down and one. Is this defense a championship defense in their building? Yeah. Could come back for three scores down. But is it also time to just sell out in blitz and leave yourself in one-on-one? -on -one? So JT Barrett lines up in an empty backfield on third down and 14. Only a three-man rush. And they get a fourth down stop to turn it back over to their offense with a two-touchdown lead. Still a lot of time left. Those guys didn't say a whole lot, just kind of gave him a look like, calm down. We got this. He's not the most vocal quarterback, but he makes his presence felt. For instance, Tim obviously wore it all in his sleeve, and you felt every bit of Tebow's emotion, and JT is quite the other way. Ball with 18 on the play clock. That last play, snap the ball with 15 on the play clock. Are you surprised that they're still going with this hurried up pace? This defense and why they've been much more stout today than anybody else has been against these Buckeyes. They are a much better collection defense. Tonight on ESPN. Stanford without their top two corners again could really come into play with Mike Leach. Loves to spread it and throw it. Play action. JT Barrett. That ball batted down. Third down and eight with the clock stop with 7.01 to go. It was T. Gray Scales that came on the blitz. Once again, look at the, just the passing game is out of sorts. It's out of rhythm. The run game has been very difficult to get anything consistently here, especially save for one drive today. Just about as much as we have Ohio State's very vaunted number one ranked defense. The Hoosiers deserve that kind of credit. And the first time in these last couple of series. And I'm the guy that can't be accounted for. And you know, I'll run for 100 yards today, and it won't be pretty, and everybody can talk about our struggles offensively, but it's about winning games. That way offensively, and a lot more discombobulated for Urban on that side, not being able to really get into tremendous rhythm. But six They have position meetings led by their position coaches, and he said by doing that, it allows them to, to develop a closeness and an elite chemistry on this.